It is quite difficult to give the large language models the correct prompt, the correct data instructions that it needs in order to accomplish the task that you're trying to get it to do. It is really difficult and you have to provide it paragraphs, if not pages worth of instruction to give you a good outcome. That's what Fabric is here for. It's providing an excellent pattern chain of thought that allows you to continuously provide good outcomes from these large language models based on what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to achieve a specific task like extract information from this data or summarize the data, but I want it in this right format. It's got to be in this correct format. The, these models, they'll do what you ask them to do as long as you ask them very specifically. And that's actually what the whole point of Fabric, the idea behind Fabric in general, is an open source framework for augmenting humans using AI. Specifically, we're talking about just these large language models that oh, like OpenAI, ChatGPT, Olama's uh, ability to, uh, you can run Olama on this, for example, right? So any of the LLMs, you can run locally on your system. You can also use a cloud-based uh, option. And so that's the whole point behind Fabric is to give you this, uh, mm, the massive number of AI applications and tasks is powerful, but it's not easy to integrate this functionality into our lives because you have to really sit down and just try to provide clear and clean instructions. And it's still not good enough. So the good news is uh, Fabric comes with a whole bunch of pre-built patterns for spe achieving specific tasks, leveraging these large language models that can run on your local system directly. You can also, of course, use the cloud-based systems. They're, they have a philosophy, it's kind of a boring philosophy, magnifier of a thing, right? They so talk about AI isn't just a thing, it's a magnifier of a thing. So uh, they believe the purpose of this technology is to help humans flourish, which means that you know when they're talking about AI, we start as humans, we're the problem. We have problems, we need to be solving problems. Ah, okay, so here's how they do it. They break problems into components. Their approach is to break problems into individual pieces and then apply them to AI one at a time. And this will allow you to get the best possible. Oh, yeah, it totally makes sense. That's how you're supposed to interact with these large language models today. That's how they work best. They're called multi-shot uh, or, or you know, chain of thoughts. You, pr you want to achieve a specific goal? Well, you can't just do ask it once and then you get exactly what you want. You need to create a giant thing of instructions. And then you also have to break those instructions into multiple pieces and then you get the final output. And that's the whole idea behind Fabric and get it installed onto your system. It's free, it's an open source tool. All right, let's install Fabric onto our computer. First, we need to make sure that we have Golang installed. Go is a programming language, just like if you're familiar with JavaScript and Java, Ruby, PHP, Python, those are computer programmer languages that need to have a runtime associated with it or a compiler that can target binary for specific platforms. That's what Go is. So you need to make sure to follow these instructions, download Go. Fabric is written in Go, it seems like so. We need to make sure that we have Go installed. They provide a nice link here for you to click into. It looks like this. It's got a, uh, like, uh, you just click download and then it will follow you know the instructions for your operating system windows apple arm or uh, x86 linux and there you go all right so once we have i just i just upgraded and installed myself here so i had go uh older version and i got a new version go going ready to go so now we need to go install the latest fabric let's get that let's let's do that so we just now we're in copy paste mode so we're just going to copy paste some of these things here so let's, get this going here. It's gonna download and probably do some uh, extra steps for us here in a second. So I'm, we'll see how it goes. I paused the video for a little while. It's still downloading. There's a lot of Go uh, dependencies, it seems. And so we're, uh, we're still waiting for it to go. Just, yeah, if you do this step and you realize that, hey, it's taking a little while, that's okay. That's what it's, uh, it's intent. It's gonna take a little while. Okay, finally finished. Now we'll go back to the other instructions here. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, instructions. Right now we run fabric setup and then we'll throw this into our terminal and, and we'll see what this looks like. All right, running fabric set. Oh, okay, maybe I might have to reopen a new terminal window. Hold a second here. All right, let's try that. Still nothing. Okay. Oh, there were, there were some uh, extra instructions on here. Aha, we do, we might need to take care of some environmental things here. One, give me a, one second. Okay, simply following the instructions here, just make sure you run these extra, you can run these commands directly in the terminal or you can throw those into your RC files if that works for you. Just make sure to run these first 
Yeah, if this set, if this step didn't work for you, fabric setup, make sure you do that. Also, I just ran fabric setup here, and I'm noticing that it wants an Olama URL, so you'll also need Olama installed, it seems, although, so make sure you go to olama.com, and then download this one as well. There's so many things you have to download, it's crazy. All right, make sure you download this, uh, click download, and then install based on whichever operating system you have currently running. So we'll leave the default here, Ah, okay, so now it's gonna let us append some external cloud-based API keys into our system. So uh, if you have API keys for those systems, you can add them here. All right, my setup is complete. I entered all the right data. You can have Olama running, so you can run models locally on your own system. You could also have them running on a, a GPU server in the closet and just make sure to specify the correct domain or IP address of that server that's running in your closet. Then you have the ability uh, to run fabric directly here. So we've got everything set up. Now we want to choose a pattern and then we want to choose a model. And those are, I think, the required steps. So we definitely need a pattern uh, and then we need a model. Uh, uh, ooh, oh, interesting output file. All right, if you're still watching this far in the video, I'm struggling to get this to work. Every step of the way, I'm running into problems where it's like, you didn't pick a default, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And it just kept, it keeps going. It's like, oh, we don't have this summary pattern. So I, I'm running this update command to see maybe maybe that'll do the trick. Let's find out. Um, let's try it. Is it gonna work this time? Are we actually gonna get something that works? If you do end up getting something that works, okay, it actually finally worked. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, okay, so there was a lot to it. You gotta have to make sure that your environmental variables are set up, that you've set up your ENB config file that uh, you've run your setup procedure and that you've made sure to pick a default vendor and a default model. And also, you have to specify a YouTube API key for some reason. I mean, it's great that you can just pass in a YouTube video URL and then have it summarize the video transcript for you, which is fantastic. That sounds really cool. The, the problem is though, that not everyone's gonna wanna set up a YouTube API key just to use a lot of the Fabric features. I mean, that can be a really good use case for Fabric, though right now it is just, I wanna use it for other things. I don't, I don't wanna use it for YouTube right now. Why do I have to mandatorily, without any any other reason, I have to specify a YouTube API key? So I just put in a random API key that matched the format. It's not a valid API key, though that seemed to do enough to trick it to allow me to get to this far. So if you got this far, you did it. You installed Fabric and now you can actually use it for what it's intended for. The LLM prompts that you have can be crazy and you need to have very specific prompts. Look at this prompt. Isn't it amazing? It's crazy. This is just a page worth of text that's required in order to work with these large language models like ChatGPT, uh, Anthropic, uh, Gemini. There's so, and with Google, right? There's so many options available. They all require a huge amount of instruction in order to give you a really good output. The good news is with Fabric, they have a ton of examples for us. Just a lot of options if we walk through, uh, if we look at all the patterns, check out all the patterns that they have available to us. There's just a ton of pattern threat detection, uh, app summarize, uh, this, what is this, create summary, create tags. Ooh, that's a good one. Explain the code, explain the documentation, extract book ideas. There are a ton of pre-built prompts that uh, are in, they're very intense, right? They're all at this level of quality. You don't wanna have to type all that in, into you know, a chat prompt in order to get the exact output that you're looking for. That's just a lot of work. What's great about Fabric is that it, it, they come comes pre-installed with all those things. So if you were able to get Fabric up and running, then we can try some of these patterns. Let's. I like this idea. Let's try to analyze the claims. So we'll run this, we'll run this pattern. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so I'm here in my terminal window. I pasted it in. I'm on a Mac, so I'm using pbpaste. You could also use clip if you're on Windows. Uh, then you just paste all this in like this. Now, since we're gonna use pbpaste, let's find something to analyze. Let's actually just use, let's, let's do this. Let's see if there's any claims. Uh, what would we want? Here we go, let's do this, uh, philosophy. Let's copy this. And then we'll see what the claims are being analyzed. Let's find out. All I have to do is go back to the terminal and press the enter key on the keyboard. It's going to run through. Oh, hey, look at that. It's providing the claim. AI isn't a thing. It's a magnifier of a thing. Oh, whoa, that's so cool. Claim score C. This is kind of neat. So it finds all the claims that are made in the statements, the statement uh, override. Then it also goes into fallacies. 
That is a pretty cool prompt. This is neat. Okay, now here's where the value is. It's in all these pre-generated prompts that Fabric has. The Fabric toolchain kit that they've built, it is a pain to set up. They really need to streamline the process to set it up better. If you get it running and you're at this point, you did a good job at getting it set up. There's just a, a lot of uh, problems that are really easy to run into. Uh, this is really powerful. I wanna try one more. I wanna try one more. Let's see what the, some other options are available to us. So you just go into the patterns directory here and then we have all of our patterns that are available to us. All right, let's look at, ooh, let's try analyze malware. I think that one would be kind of neat. Let's just try that out really quick. Uh, da -da, malware, okay. So let's find, let's go over here. Let's just copy some of this text. So all we're gonna do is copy this. And it's probably gonna say, there's nothing wrong with, I'm expecting it to say, there's nothing absolutely wrong with this. So all I have to do is press enter and then it's gonna start providing, all right. Uh, the input text provides instructions for downloading and installing binary releases of Go for building from source. It mentions checking the release history from uh, more information about the Go releases. Any problems? Nope. Any attack? Nope. Potential pit pivots? Nope. There's no pivots. No relevant information about malware detection. This is neat. Isn't this cool? It's providing us like all this really powerful output that's specifically formatted in a way that allows us to analyze large volumes of text. Now, here's, here's the neat part, check this out. We can start using these models to do human analysis level of things of large amounts of documents. So if we have, say, a whole bunch of uh, like documents or wiki pages, we can have, and we wanna know generalized information or we wanna tag all those pages with uh, ideas, this uh, large language model uh, tool chain kit fabric itself, we can leverage it to copy in all that, paste in the data to the fabric and then have it run through all of, of the the inputs and then provide tagged outputs. I'm actually kind of curious. I saw another one called create tags. Let's see if I can see, all right, so tags. I wanna try that, all right, create tags. Let's let's see, let's, let's try this one really quick. All right, we'll copy and paste the same code as before or the same text as before. Let's see how it does in creating tags. Oh, look at that. All releases, binary release, installation instructions, those pretty good tags. Releases go, all right. So it actually does a really good job at achieving its goal, at making it really easy for us to leverage existing patterns that these LLMs could follow these really insane instructions. Like, let's look, let's look at this tags really quick. What does this even look like? So here is the instructions. I didn't, this is the entire thing. This is all the data is provided. This is actually not a lot. I'm actually kind of surprised that there's not a whole lot of instruction. I mean, it's a lot more than I would normally want to type as a human to provide instructions for a model to do a thing that I want it to do. Though it is kind of interesting that uh, it's already pre-built for us. I really like that. Is there any other interesting one? What's aphorisms? Uh, are, I guess we're gonna find out. Let's try create aphorisms. Okay, now I need to go back here. Let's copy and paste this again. Copy paste, and we'll do this one last one and see what it comes up with. Oh, the secret of getting ahead, it's getting started. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, so it's a whole bunch of quotes, essentially. Do not wait until uh, to strike till the iron is hot, but make it hot by striking. Interesting. William Butler Yeats. <laughs> Uh, Yates or Yeats? I, I'm gonna say it's, I like it. it's probably Yates or something like that. 